What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Stocks to Watch and Bulls are certainly back. So I think the game plan worked out exactly how uh, we were thinking it would. And um, I think uh, let's start with Nifty to kind of clear out everything. So now Nifty just sweeps the highs and uh, does what you were expecting it to do, does a gap fill. Uh, so this was yesterday's action. And now what uh, Nifty did today is it opened gap up, tried to sweep liquidity, came back down. It was a volatile expiry, by the way. Uh, Nifty came back down, filled the gap, so there was an easy trade over here. And then the markets kind of, uh, you know, jumped back up to this area of liquidity where uh, we did get some supply. And post that, we kind of tap into this breaker. So I think this was like a 15-minute breaker block uh, from which Nifty decided to, you know, kind of shoot up. And towards the end of the day, we saw like a one-way rally. I think for the last, um, you know, one hour, one hour, 30 minutes, last 90 minutes, there was just supremely great action. So Nifty was kind of trending. Bank Nifty was kind of lagging today. And I think that's because of the PSU banks. So Bank Nifty also did move, but it wasn't as strong as Nifty. But I think still, uh, you know, similar action. We opened gap up. We kind of filled the gap down. Um, we try to come back all the way to this fair value gap right here. And then we did have a bounce. So again, now uh, Bank Nifty and Nifty, although, uh, you know, after having like, you know, uh, coming back, uh, coming down from the highs after opening gap up, they still closed almost at the place they opened. So it was like kind of a, um, you know, a day where uh, there's a roller coaster ride and stock specific action was leading again for the fourth consecutive day of the week. So let's get started with the stocks that we were watching yesterday and let's get started with Carbon Under Universals. I think we spoke about this, that this is going to be one of the favorites, right? So Carbon Under Universal up 7%. Triveni Turbines, Happy Forging, IFCI, Bharti Airtel, Manyavar. I think these stocks, you, I think you guys now remember each one of them. Uh, Go Colors, again, starting to react. RR Cable, uh, and then uh, I think we've got a bunch of other names which did pretty well, which was, uh, you know, from our watch list. So I think decent action from this front. Now, coming back to what's going to be the game plan for tomorrow, and I think I have a bunch of stocks, and I'm going to go by, you know, go with each one of them very quickly. So Rolex Rings is the first one. Now, I'm not, uh, you know, this is not a stock that I'm going to be trading tomorrow, but I'm just trying to show you that we've spoken about this stock multiple times in the last few days, in the last few episodes. And this stock has just uh, made like a home run move. Next up is Emphasis. So we were talking about IT companies. So that has done really well. Uh, this is going to be on the radar for tomorrow. The base is really nice. Gufik Bio, uh, I think this is another name which is creating a nice little base. I think I'm going to be interesting to, uh, interested to see how it moves out tomorrow. Shipping Corporation of India, another interesting name. The base is really nice. Volumes dried up. That's great. Hindustan Zinc, another solid momentum, uh, you know, the stock, it, this is, this stock is on steroids at the moment, moves really, really nicely and now it has again created like a tight little base, uh, ready to move higher. Inox Green, reacting from an area of demand, so it's going to be interesting one to watch, this is like a demand bounce play. Avonmore uh, Capital, I think uh, this is also kind of uh, trying to break out of an important base, so I think this is going to be an interesting one. APL Apollo, again, similar structure, trying to create a base. So it has liquidated the highs, kind of tried to liquidate the lows by creating an equal low. This is also an interesting one. R Systems International, uh, I think coming back to an area of demand, I don't really like this play a lot. Why? Because there's too much empty space on the downside. So I think maybe this needs some more time to consolidate and then move. PVR Inox, another very, very solid name, the leader from the entertainment space. And I would, I would say the only one uh, left in this space. Um, again, the base is decent. I think it's doing uh, similar to what it did over here. So I think this is pretty similar and you could expect like a, a big candle maybe in a day or two. So this is in, in, this is a stock that you're essentially playing at, at an area of demand. So yeah, Manyavar, another name that I've been screaming uh, for you to buy this for the last four days. In the last four days, the stock has done insane, uh, you know, price action. And I think this is now ready to move even higher. Sale and exploration, something on radar, not yet ready. Tech Mahindra, beautiful setup. So after this gap up and after this, you know, base, uh, let me tell you that Tech Mahindra is one of the cheap, one of the most cheaply valued stocks in terms of large cap IT. So from a valuation front, I think Tech Mahindra is a very, very attractive name. So keep a watch on this one. Next up is another IT name, which is KPIT Technologies. Looks beautiful, nice little base. Avanti Feeds, another, uh, you know, stock from the fisheries or the aquaculture segment. Nice little base. Let's see how it moves tomorrow. Max Health, again, a very, very nice base with a volume dry up. Looks interesting to see for tomorrow. Uh, I think Infi could be the outperformer for the day. I think this is one of the 
uh, one of the you know one of the best large cap stocks setting up in such a beautiful way so i think this is just insane it is going to start moving from tomorrow maybe it is the one who leads nifty to what uh, nifty wants to do rec another name looks really nice uh, johnson controls i think we have spoken about this one as well the base is really nice hdfc life we spoke about this yesterday nice little base and now i think it's ready to move higher titan again sitting at an area of demand stock has corrected nicely after a beat in you know after a big miss in earnings so i think the earnings are already factored in with the large cap names in focus right now so i think titan could be the one which could be great gen irrigation we've spoken about this stock the base is really nice stock is up 2% today but it still remains to be seen whether it tries to base uh, you know break the base or does it just kind of falter out rr cable another one which is waiting for a big base breakout krishna diagnostics same uh, you know same case over here so i think uh, this is also a base which is ready to explode earnings are uh, reporting on uh, saturday 18th of april 18th of may sorry hdfc bank i think we've been speaking about this one for a long period of time very very nice base at an area of demand i think this is the one which led bank nifty today and i think this is the one which is going to be leading nifty and bank nifty even tomorrow so interesting one jb chemicals and pharmaceuticals again this is creating a nice base so i have i like this lupin um i'm still waiting for a nice uh, closing near the highs that unfortunately hasn't come yet but looks decent next up is cofor so we have again we have been talking about it for a long period of time i think 3 4 days this entire week i've been speaking about it 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 and it is very silently moving higher right so no headlines nothing uh, because they're moving slowly but they're moving nicely and steadily ofss another it name which is setting up really nicely for a move godrej properties uh, setting up really nicely so today in the last 30 minutes we had a massive move in dlf coming in so keep a close eye on what godrej properties does from here TVS Motors another auto name setting up really nicely uh if you remember we already had a position in Balakrishna Industries in terms of the auto space and i think i gave a disclaimer today's candle was a single big you know green candle giving us this move so we captured this and we booked profits in this one apart from that uh, we've got Voltus which is uh, i think setting up for a gap fill place i think we've got a gap over here and now we've got a gap over here so i think this is very likely for this to fill this gap maybe come back down fill this gap and then maybe come from this area of demand and then start moving higher so voltus for a gap fill play on the long side i think this is an interesting one next up we've got uh, podar pigments i think we've spoken about this stock previously as well nice base ready to break out uh, nippon uh, you know india nippon uh, is again oem name setting up nicely at the base not the best base in the world but it's decent loris lab similar story mrf setting up really nicely at the bottom of a very important fair value gap so i think i like the location hcl tech uh, has been uh, you know holding up for the last 4 days inching up slowly and steadily but i think now is the time if you look at it on the weekly i think on the weekly it has given like a decent close and tomorrow is a friday that means a weekly can be close so i think uh, if you are going to do a contra long play in it i think uh, with a 5 6% stop i think hcl tech could be a good positional play but again this is a disclaimer this is not a financial advice please consult your financial advisor uh before making any investments so i think like a 60 pointer stop uh, would be good enough for hcl so i think that that looks good next up we've got kitex uh and again this is a nice base uh, definitely something to explore arthi industries we spoke about this in the previous episode finally it has reacted from this area of uh demand and it swept the lows so i think this one is also good sipla setting up nicely then we've got divis lab so we've got like a you know bunch of pharma names um like some are pharma some are hospitals so we saw uh, i think uh, we saw a, a couple of hospitals over here so we saw max health uh, we also saw krishna diagnostics and uh, i think we saw even uh, uh, the sipla and divis lab from the pharma space i have been industries um, you know decent name coming to an area of demands so i like the area and like the contraction that's happening century play i think this is uh, another maneuver i would say uh, from the watch list i think this is set uh, and i think this is going to explode earnings uh, were also decent so i think everything is uh, factored in so yep it's set next up we've got uh, jubilant pharmova and uh, this is something that we have been eyeing uh, i think tomorrow could be the breakout day uh, for this one as well so this is also interesting next up we've got uh, pgil and uh, pearl global i think we've been watching i think this is the stock that i'm going to be watching on for tomorrow maybe for an upper circuit because the way it has formed its base the way it is contracting i think this is just ready to kind of explode higher 
Next up, we've got Raymond, and uh, this is also looking decent. Uh, not the greatest, I would say. And Garware High Tech Films, again, something uh, to keep on uh, the watch list. So, uh, I think more or less, uh, there is going to be a lot of action. There are so many stocks in the watch list, and that usually happens when the index starts becoming better. So, now for Bank Nifty, as I said, now the location is pretty tricky because now we are approaching these areas of supply. That's one. Uh, number two, so I am definitely not going to be interested for Bank Nifty specific longs at the moment. I think I need a pullback, I need a correction. Uh, as far as Nifty is concerned, I think Nifty is also approaching this area over here, which is going to be an interesting one to watch out for. It actually reacted from that. So I think what maybe I'm looking is maybe we op if we do open gap up over here and then we do fill a, you know, we do a gap fill, I think that's going to be crazy. That's going to be interesting to see. So all in all, I think it's going to be an exciting day tomorrow and uh, there is lots of action. And uh, please do subscribe to the channel if you like this content. Hit the like button and drop a comment if you want to ask me about something or uh, just tell me what is your view about the market. So that's it from today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. All the best. Take care and good night. Bye-bye.